Recommendations from the VA to downsize the Fort Wayne Veterans Affairs Medical Center. And that idea is bringing a lot of debate with it. Fox 55's Brianna Bice spoke with Congressman Jim Banks to find out how likely that is to happen. They serve our country, but national VA recommendations could limit Fort Wayne veterans' access to medical services. The VA is recommending that the Fort Wayne VA Medical Center downsize, which would mean no more surgeries or inpatient care. I just think it's ridiculous. The proposal would have a personal impact on Trisha Hicks' father-in-law. He's having surgery actually there this week um, to recheck for cancer. Um, my grandfather was in World War II, and he was a nurse, and he worked there um, before he died. Uh, so that's very... And they you know, that place is very important to me. Their goal is to transition the current VA hospital into being an outpatient clinic. And she says that's a scary thought. My father-in-law wouldn't be able to go all the way out of town to go somewhere else to get help. And one local veteran told me he's trusting representatives like Congressman Jim Banks to fight the proposal. But Banks says it's still too early to decide where he stands on the subject. I, I have a lot of questions. I've asked the VA for answers to a number of questions. And when we get those answers, we'll be happy to provide them for provide them to you. The VA Medical Center refused interviews today, but sent us a statement saying that if people like Hakes want to fight the proposal, they can attend AIR Commission public hearings or write a letter to the White House. And Banks says they'll have plenty of time to do so because the AIR Commission has to look over the recommendations first. And that commission is not even set up yet. So th this process is going to take a long time. Uh, for the commission to go through and review the recommendations from the VA. And what would happen to veteran medical benefits if it passed? The Fort Wayne VA Medical Center is in the same boat as everyone else. Still waiting to find that out based on future announcements from President Biden. In Fort Wayne, I'm Brianna Bias, Fox 55 News. And the AIR Commission is a bipartisan group appointed by the president. The next step is for them to review the VA's recommendation before it's sent to the president and to Congress.